Good morning, Plus Rita. Today we're giving you another daily dose of announcements, some facts with Max, and another painting tutorial from Alana. But before that, I'm Brooke. And I'm Gabia. Welcome to the eighth episode of Remote Minor Morning TV. Bit of magic. A bit of magic? It's easy. Let's see. Placerita recognizes students for getting straight A's in a subject, having perfect attendance, being the top student in a subject area, or getting special recognition by the principal. This year, due to quarantine, we'll be having a virtual awards show tonight. Join us on YouTube at 7 p.m. for the live premiere on Placerita TV YouTube channel. The link can also be found on the Placerita website. Seventh graders, do you want to be in Spanish in the fall? Student service? Dance? If you haven't yet, it is time to choose your elective for your eighth grade year. Go to the following link and make your selections. You can also find the counseling page on the Placerita website. There's more information there, including how you can join the counseling Google Classroom. Make sure you do this right away. Selections are due by June 1st. Your, book your books are still on sale at http justinsyearbooks.com. We have less than 100 yearbooks left. Order now. Also, distribution day will happen. We are still working on the details. It might be a drive-up style, but we don't know, but it will happen. Now for a few words from Mr. Turner. Hey, good afternoon, miners. Just, I hope you are well. Just to let you know, we really miss you. Tonight is our night for our eighth grade award ceremony and a recognition for our students uh, and all their outstanding work that they have done this year. So anyone can watch it. I sent a link to your parents uh, where it's gonna be found on uh, the Placerita TV uh, link for that, but it is all going to open at 7 p.m. this evening, so we can all watch it together. Uh, if you missed that link somehow, it's actually also on the front of our Placerita webpage. So if you go there, click on the link, it's right there for you. Next week is our big drive through. Please have your parents take a look at last week's Sunday evening newsletter so that you will know when to arrive. We're going by last name alpha with, if your last name starts with A through L, you would come on Tuesday the 26th. And if your last name starts with M through Z, you would come on Thursday the 28th. So don't forget to go ahead and put your books in the car. And take note of what you have there. Um, you will also be receiving this weekend a a sheet of paper that you can print if you have the ability to do that and check off some information on it so that you can already have that ready when you arrive. If you don't have the ability to print, we will give one to you whenever you get here and you can fill it out while you are uh, sitting in the line. So don't forget to go ahead and put your books in your car so they can be quarantined and it will be safer for the people handling the books when they get here. Or if you're walking over, put them by the door and bring them with you when you come. We also need to be aware that everyone needs to be wearing a mask. We need to be following all the rules that we have for our county right now. So make sure that you have a, Mac, a mask on when you arrive uh, on campus. And in, in case you missed the communication last weekend, we will send more this weekend that will have that same information in it. So our quote for today is for actually from Muhammad Ali. And here's what he said, every day is different and some days are better than others. But no matter how challenging the day, get up and live it. That's good advice. So I challenge you, finish strong. Don't give up, close to the end right here. Um, the end of school will be here before you know it. I hope you have a great weekend. Now over to Kayla with the cool craft. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be making a new craft video. I know it's been a second, but you know what? Let's just get started. The first thing you're going to do is fold a paper over like so. Then you're going to fold in the corners. Then you're going to fold it again, but don't fold it in half. Only fold it halfway so that it looks like two trapezoids. Then fold in the corners. 
layers. Then flip over the piece of paper and write a very inspiring message as I've done. Then turn it over, fold it two thirds of the way, then take the other side and fold it again, but tuck it in the corners. Then you're gonna write pull on it, decorate it, like as I've done so, very detailed. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. Stay safe, miners. Now over to Alana with another fantastic painting tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to another painting tutorial with Alana. So the materials you'll be needing are a paper circle, paper that you cut the circle out from, canvas or piece of paper to paint on, brushes for paint, Colors I will be using are neon green, white, black, and blue. So let's get started with this tutorial. And I forgot to say, if you have gesso, I think you know what to do. Okay, so the first part you're gonna be doing is making an ombre between green, blue, and black. Okay, so all of my brushes are small, so I decided to use a sponge. If you have bigger brushes, you can use those. Time to take the circle off. Ooh, looking good. All right, so once you're done with that, you're just gonna put this away and you're done with this circle. Look how cool it looks. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Just kidding. Wow, you guys actually thought? <laughs> well, now you're just gonna wait for this to dry and I'll tell you what the next step is. Okay, so once it's done drying, you're gonna put the cut out um, on the canvas, and you're also gonna be making an ombre with the colors black, green, and blue. But instead of doing in the order green, blue, and black, you're actually gonna do black, blue, wait, yeah, black, blue, and green. Good tip when it comes to painting with a sponge, is dry the sponge once you cleaned it. <laughs> okay, time to take off this paper. Whoa, that looks nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna splatter some stars on there with just white paint. I think it's looking amazing right now, but we have one more step. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your black paint and do whatever you want on the bottom. You can add hills, trees, whatever you want. And that's all the painting tutorials I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it and even tried it out. Bye. Now over to this week's Facts with Max. Hello and welcome to Facts with Max. This subject was submitted through our Instagram. It was actually submitted by our intern here in Kid Flicks, Aaron Kuglade Guo. Did you know that a pirate flag with a skull and crossbones is called a Jolly Roger? Though, it does seem rather thin than jolly. <laughs> a stereotypical pirate has an eye patch, right? What if I told you that few pirates actually wore eye patches because they were missing eyes. Most pirates would wear eye patches because they needed to see better under deck at night. What if I told you that walking a plank was a total myth? All they would really do is kill them straight off the bat or perform a couple different forms of torture, like key holding, marooning, or whipping them, which are all things I would consider doing this far into quarantine. Sorry to stomp on your pirate-loving attitude, but pirate treasure mostly consisted of food, cloth, lumber, and animal hides, 
rarely silver, and almost never gold. Each pirate ship has a strict set of rules to determine how loot was distributed, chores, and what was expected from everyone. The most important rule was that no pirate could fight aboard. So if anyone disagreed or had an argument, they'd brawl it out off the ship. Whilst writing this, I realized that these set of rules can apply to our school. Lunch is equally divided, like their loot. We, had, we have to have good grades, like their chores. We have to act according to a set of expectations. And we all have to fight it out off school campus. This joke is funny until you think about how far we've come since pirating. These are the facts. Now back to the hosts. Thank you, Max. I think we're done here. Right you are. Thank you for tuning in to Remote Minor Morning TV, recorded here from the comfort of our homes under quarantine. I'm Brooke. And I'm Gabia. Wash your hands, stay at home, and be safe, miners.